I saw Fred lying on the floor in our bedroom in our house in Denver. He was drooling. I started speaking loudly to him, trying to wake him up, kiddingly asking him why he had chosen to fall asleep on the floor instead of our bed. But I quickly realized he wasn't responding. I started shaking his body to see if he would wake up and to see if his body was still warm. His shirt came up as I moved him, and I noticed multiple patches were placed all over his torso. I focused in and noticed they were all fentanyl patches. Fred had overdosed, but he was still alive. I ran to the bathroom and started tossing everything out of the cabinets, searching for the box of naloxone I had taken from the lobby of the Suboxone Clinic at Denver Health that he attended weekly. I yelled at myself for not learning how to administer this medicine before, and I ripped open the box and checked the directions while I ran back to him. It was a blur as I took off the sticker and pushed the plunger in his nose, and then again as the first spray bottle didn't wake him up. As he finally came to, I was thankful I'd happened to have it on hand. Later I learned that he had obtained the patches from a nearby massage therapist. <laughs>